Welcome back to this new beta to Express. I'm going to show you today how to easily um, add a accept payments into Shopify. I'm going to show you how to connect the two checkout into Shopify step by step so you can start accepting global payments effortlessly. So the first thing to do is to open a new tab. I'm going to look out for to checkout.com. Here it is. I'm going to open this and I'm going to choose the option that says sign up for free. There's the two sell easy, simple way to get started. There's the two subscribe where you can develop or boost subscription and business sales, or you can choose to sign up totally for free. So I choose this option and I enter all the information about myself. So you can enter a business email, you can enter a passcode, you can enter your own website. And basically what I do when I create an actual account here into the two checkout element is to enter the website that I'm gonna be focusing on from the Shopify, which in my case should be this one. So I go from online store, I copy this link and I paste it here. Then I enable I am not a robot and I hit the option to get started. Once I have now done this process, basically what I need to do is just to sign in. Hit into the option that says logged in. And here you want to enter all the information about yourself. Once we are signed in, you might be having now access to the toCheckout.com panel. Now, it's going to be really important that you cut your account or have been activated in order to get started. So basically how we can actually import the two checkout directly into, um, into Shopify. So we have the integration elements and we have the webhooks and the API. The API keys are a secret words that can be helping you to connect your account directly here into Shopify. Basically, there's a lot of elements that we can help us, of course, to get started. So by adding this in a very easy way just to go into Shopify into the left section that says settings clicked into the option that says payments and here into payments you choose the option that says uh, adding a third party provider so I'm gonna choose the option to choose another provider for example and I wanted to enable the two checkout now if the two checkout is not available that means that your country has not not having this enabled yet so we can try out with another uh, result or with another element for example I click into filter and let's say that I wanted to enable MasterCard and Visa so the best solution for me is to add Aiden, Airwallex, Asia, Clover and basically there's a lot of elements that we can choose to get started now with this information of course I needed to install the new provider and go for continue now if I choose the application section I'm going to click here and I'm going to type to check out. I'm going to look out for this directly into the Shopify app store. We surely, or I mean, I'm, we must look out for the integration of the to check out convert plus by the very font. So here is the to check out convert plus. I needed to install this so I can have this enabled into my Shopify. So I hit into install. And once I have done this process, it's gonna be asking us to link my two checkout account. So I needed to enter the merchant code, the secret code, the order title for the shopper, and the style ID. This information should be, of course, um, here by signing in. I'm gonna sign in directly here. And here is all the information I needed to paste directly here into Shopify. So basically it says that when you be prompted to log in the Shopify account, you have here the sign in element and you should have the payment element. And into the payment section, you should be having the choose alternative payment so you can add the two checkout convert plus by the very phone. Really important element to hit into at this like right away. So uh, I'm gonna try to go back. So I'm gonna try to go back here into the smart on choose my settings and make sure this one is not being enabled right away. I'll go for payments and go for managed. I'm going to choose to change the provider. And let's see if now we have availability to add the to checkout element here. So we're going to try to check out. If this one is not available yet, we can try out to install the very phone right away here. Now, really important, of course, all of this information is just as a demo mode. Now this demo mode is not gonna be helping me, this information of course is not gonna be helping me to show you how to do this because this uh, business account should be activated in order to continue. So if I import all of this information that is gonna be of course updated soon enough and I hit into update settings, 
is not going to be accessing to the settings because basically my account is not activated yet. But this is the actual element, of course, how we can actually import the information from the very phone. Now, another solution, if this element is not enabled into your Shopify, what you can do is to look out for a few alternatives. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back here to, to check out. And here, instead of going for the payment of, for example, change provider, another provider, I choose this element that says filter. I enable, for example, the master card and the visa. So I have all of those elements that can help me to get started. For example, we have the pay on you. There's the water way, there's the Mikado Pago, there's the Tyler Pay, there's the Cyber Source, and basically much more. So when I choose one of them, the process is exactly the same. Create an action account, manage your account, import your account, and you're willing to now get started here into Shopify. In my case, I am currently using Stripe because Stripe has a really low transaction fees. It has card rate set by Stripe, and I can enable something great. This is Apple Pay. So I enable all of them, and I hit it to save. When you added one payment element, for example, those stuff, what you can do is to enable the test mode. When you enable the test mode, you are willing to accept payments, for example, just as an example, to check out how it actually looks when somebody makes the purchase. And basically, that would be actually it, guys. So just in case to check out is not available into your country, you can try it out with some other channels that you can use into the future. So hopefully, this was very useful information for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully, with that being said, we can all see you next time. See you soon.